right, folks. So I've actually got a really, really intriguing story here for you guys about some uh, potential beef brewing here. Uh, so I guess there was a Democratic caucus call. And uh, here is a report from a Politico reporter. This tweet reads, Some drama on Dem caucus call just now as Representative Jayapal confronts the speaker over Jayapal's paycheck guarantee proposal being left out of the bill. Senior Democrats say she had no actual bill language. Too difficult to turn that around in such a short time frame. Uh, quote, Jayapal is also implying her program's massive savings when it probably really cost $1 trillion, one aide tells us. But Jayapal backers say this is just, quote, par for the course, saying all these bills have been written in speaker suit without meaningful input from rank and file. Pelosi disputed this on call, saying chairman has been taking member input and drafting their specific sections. Dems on the call call... On the call, described Jayapal slash Pelosi exchange as, quote, intense. Some members telling us it's larger than just Jayapal's proposal. This right now represents weeks of frustration over what they see as Pelosi's top-down style, but most too afraid to raise it to her. But others on the call say the speaker took the high road, complimented Jayapal's ideas, etc. Now, this is really interesting because this is kind of a beef going on amongst the Democrats. It looks like Jayapal is the one who's really taking it to her now. Now, if you recall, uh, with AOC, there was always this like weird passive-aggressive beef that was going on between the two. And I think AOC was really chewing out Nancy Pelosi a lot in private. But in public, she would get into these sort of back and forth, uh, you know, these kind of jabs that were thrown. A lot of them passive-aggressive sub-tweets. It was obvious who AOC was talking about. I'm sure you guys all remember when uh, Nancy Pelosi, you know, made fun of the Green New Deal, saying, oh, the Green Dream or whatever, stuff like that. She's basically memeing her um, and all that kind of stuff. And AOC would then go to Twitter and say, oh, these people are a problem without naming who exactly she's talking about. But it's obvious she's talking about Nancy Pelosi. I think it was Rashida who also went to Twitter to basically say these people want us for photo ops, but then they never listened to us. And basically, you know, the way that these congressional, you know, uh, bills, I guess, work is, you know, uh, a lot of the input comes from, you know, the committee chair, you know, the committee, first of all, and then the chair has like the most say. And so I guess they're saying Pelosi has too much of a top, you know, top heavy uh, strategy, I guess, where chairmen who usually are there because they have the most seniority, which means they're most likely people who are not progressive and they're not, you know, receptive to the new people that are more your Joe Crowley's, you know, who's now not an officer, your Nancy Pelosi's, who've, who's obviously been in office for a long time. And so I guess they're saying like, hey, what the fuck? Why are you not listening to us? You're not taking our contributions seriously. Uh, Pramila Jayapal saying, it isn't difficult. It's just about having the will to do so and goal of stopping mass unemployment. What's worse than difficult is devastation we are facing and worse. We have red line changes for current proposal that could be enacted right now. Hashtag Paycheck Guarantee Act. And this is directly in response to a tweet that reads, Emerging Democratic Stimulus Bill not expected to include the Paycheck Guarantee Act, prompting pushback from Representative Pramila Jayapal on tonight's Democratic caucus call, per several sources. Dem critics say the plan is too difficult to implement in the short term. So this is a direct response from Pramila Jayapal here. Another person jumping in is Ilhan Omar, another progressive representative. She says, um... She says Congress can't help itself when it comes to enriching healthcare execs. Expanding COBRA would be a massive giveaway to for-profit insurance companies and leave millions of Americans uninsured during this pandemic. Uh, we need to expand Medicare to everyone who lost a job now. So I guess COBRA is the program that uh, basically, I guess, offers subsidized health insurance to people who are unemployed. And so I guess they're trying to expand COBRA now because there's so many people. But it's kind of like the way that Obamacare was this sort of giveaway to private health insurance companies by having an individual mandate, which mandates that you buy private health insurance is kind of a giveaway to private corporations instead of, hey, let's expand Medicare to all the people who have lost a job. Um, and so there's this sort of uh, beef going on on these different stimulus package pieces that are really crucial here. Now, uh, a notable person who's silent on this, and I've only seen Pramila and Ilhan talk about this as of right now, but uh, a, a notable person who's sort of absent is AOC. Again, like I already told you, AOC has been has beefed with Nancy Pelosi in the past, but I think that AOC is taking a new strategy. I think probably because she's revving up for future runs, maybe she's going to challenge 
uh, Chuck Schumer in 2022. Maybe she's going to rev up for a, pro a presidential run. I have no idea. But uh, she's taking what seems to be a new strategy of, like, I'm not going to directly beef. Maybe she's beefing with them in private. But she doesn't, I guess, maybe want to alienate them or their supporters, which is, I think, an interesting strategy, which may be good, maybe bad. Um, and so she hasn't said anything about this. But there definitely seems to be some beef going on between senior uh, corporate Democrats and progressive Democrats. And, you know, I definitely did, I didn't expect this. So, I mean, certainly credit to Pramila Jayapal for being such a strong fighter on this um and trying to really help people during this uh you know situation try to get real good stimulus packages but uh i i definitely didn't expect pramila jayapal to be the one on the front lines because she's really the one who's on the front lines of sort of challenging nancy pelosi here and really calling her out again that was uh, what was described as quote intense of a call um and sort of uh you know i guess uh dramatic or whatever the term that they want to use is but uh really interesting stuff let me know your thoughts on this down below pretty fascinating